you probably see a lot of people talking about. There, I'll show you a video in a second, but for the past over 100 years, there's such a thing is called the World Diners Congress, was started by Herzl. And uh, it's really people, you know, they assign delegates, and these delegates, they, they make decisions that influence the diaspora, they influence the what's going on with the Jewish uh, uh, communities outside of Israel, and they also influence on decisions made within Israel. So I'm going to show you a video in a second, but uh, Ben Juro, first time ever, we joined this, uh, I'm a delegate, I, I, I need at least 500 votes to be part of this uh, World Zionist uh, Congress, but it's the first time we ever joined this uh, uh, election, and we ha now we have a voice, not right? If we get a, a certain amount of votes, we would actually have somebody who could speak on the needs on behalf of our community and who could uh, say, yes, uh, you cannot uh, boycott Israel, you cannot uh, you know, do things which are not appropriate, and Israel has to be strong, has, and somebody has to speak up for Israel and, and uh, get... Uh, this is what's happening right now, you'll see in a second, but the left organizations, the reform, and the conservative, and, the, and like... Uh, Organization we have the, the, the gay rabbis, women rabbis, and the, or the, the organizations that are against Israel. They they think they say the Palestinians should be running Israel. These left organizations they try to infiltrate World Zionist Congress and make all the decisions. They're trying to take over control. So if we are not doing anything, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it, and uh, we really have to step up. And that does it cost like seven dollars to vote and. Uh, our slate is slide, slide number 11, we're together with DOA, uh, Zionist Organization of America, and uh, uh, I'm going to show you a video in a second, which is going to explain a little bit better, but if you can, please take out a minute and uh, just uh, go online and vote for DOA, okay, slate number 11. Okay, and the last item, what can you do? Uh, the Gemara says, as in the Masechet Baba Batra, that uh, is somebody who gives donation, he gets nine blessings. Nine blessings. It's a it's a nice uh, it's a nice uh, thing to have. But somebody who helps out with a good word, кто человек поддерживает другого слова, he gets eleven блessings. Он получает одиннадцать благословений. И это то, что мы просим, что иногда люди не соглашаются, как мы делаем вещи. It's okay. You, you could, you could, it's okay to disagree with the way we do things. If you just come over to me or to Easy and tell us, you know, I don't think you're going on the right road or maybe this is the better way to do things. It's okay, I, I can handle it, he can handle it, Albert can handle it, and we would actually we'd like to hear some uh, constructive constructive feedback. Right? Tell us how to do things better and maybe we'll do it. Or sometimes you don't see the full picture, you know, sometimes you see things differently, it's okay. But, uh, you know, but we do need people's encouragement and we do need people's uh, uh, understanding that, you know, what we're doing is a, is a good thing. And uh, that's the least you could do, I think, is to, to be supportive and God forbid not to go around and gossip and criticize. And it's just, uh, 